First thing we're going to do is set our pressure cooker to sear and saute. Once it's warm, we're going to add the olive oil and sear our chuck roast. Now, once our pan is hot, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. And you're going to put salt and pepper to taste on your chuck roast on both sides. Make sure the chuck roast is at room temperature. Now, we're going to sear both sides of the roast. The goal is to use just one pot for everything. So, the reason we like to sear or brown the chuck roast is because it'll retain more of the moisture. It also enhances the flavors of your final pot roast. It's been about three minutes. I'm going to flip it over. Alrighty, it's been about four minutes. Now we're going to remove the pot roast. I mean the chuck roast. And we're going to cook some of our vegetables. We're going to add a little bit more oil. And we're going to throw in two celery stalks and one white onion. And we want to cook these until they're translucent. All right, so it's been about two to three minutes and I've been sauteing two celery stalks and one white onion. Now I'm going to add some herbs. Here I have four garlic cloves, one rosemary sprig, half a tablespoon of thyme, and one bay leaf. Bay leaf. <laughs> we're gonna add these in there. And we're gonna cook it for an additional minute. Kind of mix in those flavors in there. Now it's been a minute, I'm going to add two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar or balsamic vinegar. And we're gonna let this cook for an additional two minutes. Now we're going to add our chuck roast back in. And we're going to cover it with water, just enough to cover the meat. Seems good, I'm gonna add a little bit more. That should do it. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of garlic powder. I love garlic. If you don't like garlic as much as I do, you don't need to add it. I'm gonna add a one tomato, rough chopped. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can omit the cayenne pepper and the chili powder if you don't like any spice. I do, you guys know. And now, we're going to add two tablespoons of beef bouillon. If you have uh, broth, beef broth, you can use that instead of beef bouillon. And instead of the water. I just love the beef bouillon. Alrighty. Now we're going to cover it up. All right guys, it's been about an hour and a half. I let the pressure release naturally since it's meat. You want to give the meat some time to rest. And there it is, it looks amazing. And now it's time to cook the vegetables. So I'm going to remove the meat and set it aside, and we're going to strain all the herbs and spices out of the juice. All 
All right. Now we have nothing but our broth in here. Now we're going to take our liquid and return it back into the pot. And now we're going to dump in our sliced onion. About a half a pound of carrots. I'm going to put one corn on the cob and about three to four potatoes. We're gonna cover the lid. So we strained the herbs and spices out of the juices, poured the juices back in, we poured in the carrots, the potatoes, and the corn. I'm gonna close the pressure valve, and we're going to cook this for about five minutes on high pressure, and then we're gonna do a quick release. Now, meanwhile, the vegetables are cooking for about five minutes. I have about a fourth of a cup of water, and we're going to take two tablespoons of cornstarch. And what the cornstarch is going to do is it's going to thicken the juice from the beef and turn it into a type of gravy. Now I'm doing a quick release on the vegetables after about five minutes of cooking on high pressure. Alrighty, it's been five minutes. I did the quick release. The vegetables look cooked. They're great. So now I'm going to add the little slurry of cornstarch and water. And we're going to switch our settings to saute on the pressure cooker. And we're going to cook this for about five minutes until you get whatever consistency it is you're looking for. And there you guys have it. We've got the potatoes, the carrots, the corn. The meat seriously just falls right apart. And some honey biscuits.